Hello, you're watching Bleachy Boy at work, and do you want to change the way your car handles look? Well, let's get to it. First, we obviously have to open the car door. The driver's side will be a little different from the passenger side, but they all have a black cap. And we have to take that off and unscrew the screw so that we can begin dismantling the car handle off of the door. That's the first piece that comes off. As you notice, the screw is still inside. We don't want to take it out completely. We just want to loosen it enough so that we can take out this unit over here. You do not need to take your screw out. Now let's do one of the passenger doors. As you can see, this black cap on the passenger door has a different location. This screw can be deeper, so we need to make sure that we don't unscrew it all the way, otherwise it can fall down into the car door itself. And we don't want that, so we're just gonna loosen it enough for us to be able to remove this portion first. Once this portion comes off, we can slide this portion out. We repeat that three more times. Now we just push the screw back in so that it does not fall into the car door. So we secured the screw with some masking tape to make sure it doesn't fall back into the door. Now we do this two more times. The front seats of the car have this sort of configuration where the screw is very close in and the position of where you will find the black cap is around there. For the back seat, it looks like this, it's a little different. The screw is deeper in. So just be aware of those differences when you do it to your car. Now we can begin the wrapping process. Let's begin the wrapping process by laying out our vinyl. Vinyl. We can measure how much we need like this, positioning the handle to both sides. Begin by cleaning the surface. We're now going to remove these black rubber parts. This one we're just going to lift up. We need to cut out an assortment of pieces to be able to wrap this handle effectively. First we will start off with this piece over here. Now we're going to shape this up and wrap it just a little over the edge so that when we put on the final piece it will all lock in perfectly. You can now use some heat to overlap these edges. You could use a card or something that looks like this, which is called a squeegee, to help you straighten out your vinyl. Vinyl. Alright, that's one piece complete. Now we're going to focus on this inner piece here and this inner piece here. You will see why in a moment. Let's shape this around this here curve. You 
can use additional heat to help you get the curve right. Now you're going to install the second piece onto this inner curve over here. We've tucked this in all around. We've put it into here and over here. This is important. Now let's take a bigger piece that fits the whole handle measurably. Let's heat it up a little before we put it on. We stick it right on, turn it around, and we begin squeezing it into place. Now we use more and more heat and molding around the whole handle to achieve the desired shape. Stretching here, using the heat, will be your friend. Now we need to make sure that we tuck in this overlap over here, right into here, which will then be covered with this rubber piece. Same goes for this area. And then we make four cuts on each of the corners, and we bring this in, fold it in. Thanks to the pieces that we put in earlier, there will be no gaps. Now that we've tucked that in, right over there, we're gonna focus on getting this folded in onto the inside. We will make four cuts right next to the edges, along the corner, all four edges. Now we bend it inwards. you firmly press it all in that's the inner part of the handle complete there's some areas over here that haven't been completely covered you can cover those with a little dots of paint of the same color of the vinyl that you Final. have or extra pieces of vinyl Final. onto this area over here but i would suggest painting it over before we get to that let's finish off over here Now we're just tucking in the rest of the pieces under the rubber. You can finish off by putting the rubber back here too. Now we can address these little points here that weren't covered completely. So that is one handle complete. Let's do this three more times. Of course, there's still this piece that we need to dress up. I've already taken out the rubber part. We need to dress this one up as well. This is the other piece of the handle. Attach the rubber piece back on. This is, as I said, the second part of the handle. For the driver's side, it looks like this because there's a lock. So we will sh we will follow the same procedure, just that we're gonna cut out the lock. We've got all of our handles completed, now all we gotta do is install them.